one notice something different? I am in a new location. I've actually moved, which is the reason why I've been MIA for the past month, and I apologize for not having put up any new content lately, but uh, the move was very exciting. Uh, we finally sold our house, so more on that later. But I wanted to come on here quickly to show you some new things that I got for my Midori. I went on a slight Asian stationery shopping spree. A few places actually, all Etsy shops. And let me bring out my notes here. So, uh, main Midori things are some Pan Am items. These are limited edition. I got the pocket insert from Toroko Shop. And I will link all these shops below, but that's what it looks like. I'm going to England later this year, and so I wanted some Pan Am things to add to my Midori, kind of give it that travel feel. So there's a slip pocket here, card slots here, the zip pocket here. So really excited about that. And then these are from a shop called Gay Look. Um, both of these are from Japan. Really fast shipping. This actually came in a week and a half. Um, the items here that I'm about to show you from Gay Look uh, are were shipped here oh, two weeks or so. So really, really fast shipping, and everything came packagedly, uh, packaged really nicely, very secure. Everything was bubble wrapped, so couldn't be happier. I've got the Pan Am Airways system uh, notebook. This is the grid paper. And then I've got the system timetable, and this is the blank paper, which I'm most likely going to be using for my London trip. Um, I don't know, let me know if you want to see a Midori setup for that trip. Um, which is not going to happen for a while, but uh, September, maybe October, so... But uh, might be fun to do. Uh, let's see, also from that gay look shop... Lots of goodies. I've got some, I've got some Midori uh, like sticker boxes. Um, if you went to design school or art school, uh, drafting dots are kind of pretty much the same idea. It's like you just pull them off from a little thing, and this actually can slip underneath here, so they just pop out, and you just pull them. Um, but I cut some out and put them put them in my Midori. So these have all sorts of different designs. That's what those look like. And then I've got some travel themed ones here. Oh. And those I'll be using for my trip. And then these ticket themes here. So I like these. These are really cool. And then what else did I get? I got some stickers. I am obsessed with the Sumiko Garashi, I think is how you pronounce it, um, characters. I got a couple sheets from Yozo Craft a while back, and I just can't stop getting these things. They're so cute, and I like that the stickers are flat, because I really don't like puffy stickers. Um, and then I got these Snoopy, like Happy Foods. So a couple of stickers there. I got some... I think these are called sticker flakes, which really are just like clear characters. Like, uh, I mean, they're not stickers, you just glue them on. So this is a little cat, and this is a little penguin. And those, that's what it looks like. Sorry for the glare. I'm not in the most, I guess, best conditions for recording, so I'm going to have to work something out here. This is kind of a temporary abode before we move out to Seattle. I've got these limited edition uh, Traveler's Star stickers. I've actually been on that ferry in Hong Kong, which is really cool. So those are all the different designs. Um, looking forward to using these for a trip to Hong Kong to visit my cousin who's getting married. Also, I've got some washi tape. This is the... is this upside down? Okay. A uh, little Sumiko Garashi washi tape. I'm just obsessed with this little cartoon. I don't even know what it is or what they are, but they're just so darn cute. 
And these are travel themed ones. Really into the travel themed uh, items right now because of my trips coming up. And then some panda washi tape. What else did I get? Um, oh! This was actually from... I think this was from a shop called Japanese To Please. Um, they kind of, it's the same design as the bear ones that I got in my Portland, Oregon trip, if you've watched that vlog. But these are bunnies and squirrels, which I thought were really cute. Um, Gaylog sent me a bunch of, like, goodies. Probably as, like, a thank you, because I put in two orders, um, with that shop, because I just can't stay away. And in fact, I actually have another order coming, um, because I just can't, I can't help myself. Anyway, um, but she sent me like this cute little divided plastic folder with the Sumiko Garashi characters on there. And I think this is supposed to like organize your stickers. I don't know, I'm not sure, but seriously, Asian stationery can't get cuter than this. And oh, I got some Snoopy washi tape. Hold on. I also got. The Snoopy washi tape there and some Woodstock paper clips and so all these like little goodies that she sent me she got me um she sent me a lot of at least I think it's a she I'm not sure I'm sorry if it's not uh, who runs the shop um, sent me a lot of uh, Snoopy kind of goodies and Sumiko goodies so tags, and these are all just the combination of the two orders. Different notebook sheets, some envelopes, some cards, that's an envelope. So I kind of have them all organized here. So cute! Look at that, that's an envelope. She also included in my package, um, the Traveler's Notebook newsletter, which is all in Japanese, which I thought was really cool. And funny enough, it had the picture of, like, Portland, Oregon on it. So, I have that. I actually have that packed away in a box already, but um, I kept these things out. And that's another folder from my second order. And I think I have some travel items that were included. There were some stickers, too. I actually have that in my Midori somewhere. And this cool, like, Pan Am brochure. Way of fun. If this is her tactic to get me to buy more things, it's certainly working. Because clearly I have placed another order. And there we have it. And, oh, and I, she also included some, like, little candy bits. Those will be fun to try. And in my second order, everything was wrapped in this super cute Sumiko Garashi washcloth. Now, in Japan, this is probably like something every kid has and you can just find at the dollar store. But honestly, this stuff is so hard to come by here in the U.S. I'm going to treasure this. I think it is absolutely adorable. I love these characters. And that was just like a clever, cute packaging technique there. And then also, yes, because the goodies just don't stop there. All these little flakes from different themes, travel themes, which I will definitely be using ticket stub in my journals to come. And I believe these are on their shop. These are on the shop for sure. I think all of these are still on the shop because I was perusing it yesterday. So all of those. And I think that's it. Those were my major purchases. And so I'm really looking forward to decorating my Midori with all of these new goodies. And I will be back to show you maybe the second order. I'm not sure. Or I should say third order when I get that um, because I went a little stamp crazy. So it's not really stickers but more stamps. 
Um, oh, to okay. One last shop. These were also from the Japanese to please shop. I got these Totoro stamps. How cute! I love these little ones here. Um, because I saw somebody on Instagram have these, and I decided to search Etsy to see if they were there, and, you know, they popped into my cart, and I bought them. So, I've been using these a lot lately. And, okay, I know, it's been a lot of stationery. But, I'm going to have fun with them, and I'm so excited to use them, and especially excited to get my travel Midori set up. Um, I hope you are all doing well. Thank you so much for the new subscribers. I really appreciate it. Especially the fact that I have not been posting on a regular basis lately. Um, thank you so much for your support and watching my videos and liking them. I really do appreciate it. So, I will leave you with that. And I hope to post videos on a more regular basis now that I'm kind of settling in. Well, I hope you have a great Memorial Day weekend if you're in the U.S. And I shall see you in my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.